Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. Musalia's move to join William Ruto is still drawing a lot of mixed political heat and debate. About two days ago, Ayub Savula, Lugari member of parliament and former ANC deputy party leader, was at an interview at Spice FM and he leaked some secrets that actually shocked a majority of Kenyans. And yesterday again, at a Citizen TV interview, or rather a debate yesterday at Citizen TV, Ayub Savula repeated the same same words. Yes, you know yesterday, Ayub Savula and Kiminini member of parliament, Chris Wamalwa, were, were in an interview, or rather a debate, at Citizen TV. And Ayub Savula made it very clear that 300 Kenya shillings, or rather 300 million Kenya shillings exchanged hands. And that 300 million Kenya shillings might have influenced Musalia Mudawadi into joining William Ruto. And also he hinted that ANC National Delegates Conference that William Ruto also attended most likely might have been influenced or rather funded by William Ruto. So in this video, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to listen to Ayub Savula, after which, as usual, we are just going to analyze that to see exactly what it means politically. Listen into this. Malala amejengewe nyumba na Ruto kakamia. Hii ya musali ya hii tujua liniambia tuna suspect hii ya Karen hii amejengewe na Naruto. Mwini ya kwayo? Mimi lipigewe na sector general wa, 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 wa jubili. Ruto, eh, eh, tuju. Tuju wakasema musali amepewa 300 million na Ruto. Mimi lipigewe na mimi na zaenda kutini sayi na affidavit. Sio kupi chochote. Na hiyo si safari kwa metatua details. Mili lipigewe simu. Na tuju. Ambea okay. 300 million. Ok. Sisi atutaki watu wafcheze wa luya. Luya community. Kama musali ya utaki kuwa president haunge sumbua wa luya kwa imeka yote. Enda na Ruto na uolewe na Ruto. Yes. That's Ayub Savula about two days ago at Spice FM. And yesterday at Citizen TV, during an interview, or rather at a debate, he also repeated the same same words. You know, yesterday, Ayub Savula and Kiminini member of parliament, Chris Wamalwa, were at a debate at Citizen TV. And Savula repeated the same same words. So the question begs, are those remarks by Ayub Savula believable? That's our analysis and discussion right now. So if in case you've just bumped here for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you. Before we answer that question, we must look at the motive of Musalia Mudavadi joining William Ruto. What does Musalia Mudavadi stand to gain by joining William Ruto? That's the question we must answer to actually understand whether we can actually believe Savula or no. Let's look at it from this angle. In Western, it's a given fact, ladies and gentlemen, that Musalia Mudavadi is actually going against the grain. A majority of Western residents do not approve of Musalia Mudavadi joining hands with William Ruto. But Musalia Mudavadi bypassed all that. He never listened to the ground. And then secondly, nationally, chances of William Ruto winning the presidency seems to be getting dim and dimmer, slim and, sl and slimmer each passing day. And I'm saying that because recent opinion polls have been constantly showing William Ruto declining and declining very, very fast as far as his presidential bid is concerned. His popularity is on a nostril. Still again, Musalia Mudavadi never factored that. He never saw that. So it seems to appear, ladies and gentlemen, that politically, that, that move by Musalia Mudavadi was a wrong political move. It was a blunder. Whether Musalia made that move knowingly 
what the ground was actually saying is another thing altogether. But from the look of things, Musalia Mudavadi, even from recent pronouncements, or other remarks by even some foot soldiers who are actually in his ANC party, they admitted that actually they warned Musalia Mudavadi against joining William Ruto. And Musalia Mudavadi again is not new in Kenya. He is not a visitor in Kenya. He knows the current political reality in Kenya. William Ruto's popularity is actually declining. From where Musalia sits, I know he understands that. So, why did Musalia Mudavadi then join William Ruto? In my considered opinion, I, I strongly believe Musalia Mudavadi might have been influenced by some other factors, but not political. Because politically, that's a wrong move. And any other person will just agree with me in what I'm trying to say. That was a political move. So Musalia's move to join William Ruto was not to build his own political brand. Eh? It was not about building his own political brand, but about other reasons. Because again, from also some information we are gathering of late, is that Musalia Mudavadi, after all, might not even be William Ruto's standing mate. So again, how is Musalia Mudavadi going to benefit in all this? The answer is a big no. He is not going to benefit. The person to benefit here comes out as William Ruto. So I'm tempted to believe that he might have been influenced by other factors, not really politics. And in my considered opinion, what Ayub Savula is saying can be trusted a little bit. Because in the past, we have seen leaders, and it has also been rumored, that some leaders have always compromised. Some money do exchange hands. Eh, for leaders actually to support others. So what Ayub Sabula is actually saying cannot be ruled out. It's a possibility. Besides that, I know that Musaila Mudavadi might have also in one way or the other wanted to rebel against Raila Molodinga. But the only problem that his mode or other style of rebellion is actually injuring him more than maybe the damage it's causing Raila Molodinga. What does that mean or show us about Musaila Mudavadi? I think from where I sit, ladies and gentlemen, Musalia Mudavadi once again comes out as a poor political leader. He is a leader who is not calculative. He is a leader who is easily manipulated. Okay? And actually, Musalia Mudavadi from his past political behaviors, he is coming out as somebody who does not listen to the ground. And we saw that in 2002. We saw it in 2013. And we are seeing it this year, 2022. And some people have alluded that after every 10 years, Musalia Mudavadi makes monumental political blunders and mistakes. And I think from this one, it's very clear that Musalia has come out as a leader who can easily be manipulated to go contrary to the wishes of the people maybe he's supposed to serve. That shows Musalia Mudavadi as not a very strong leader, but a leader who is just after maybe his own selfish personal gain. That comes out very, very clearly. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, having said all that again, looking at Cleophas Malala, because it's also, it has also been rumored again that the same same Cleophas Malala, his, his home in the village was also financed by William Ruto. And that's something that is actually in the public domain. And Malala has never come out to deny that. So it's also a, a, possible, a possibility that Cleophas Malala might have acted as the link or a broker between William Ruto and Musalia Mudavadi. So it's also a given fact, ladies and gentlemen, that maybe the 300 million Kenya shillings Ayub Sabula is actually talking about actually did exchange hands, but it did exchange hands most likely through Cleophas Malala. And you know, for some times now, Cleophas Malala has been showing very clear signals that actually they were headed to William Ruto. So again, we cannot rule out manufacture here, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, God bless you. God bless Kenya.
For those who have just bumped here for the very first time, just as I did indicate when we were starting, kindly subscribe and also give this video a like. To those watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment. Let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. And if possible, also subscribe, give this video a like. To our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya.